Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, what we're going to talk about tonight is finally some common sense solutions to harden our schools, protect our most valuable assets, our children. Now, this is coming out of North Carolina, and they're actually putting forth common sense measures to have solutions on hand to deal with a worst case scenario. Now, of course, you're going to hear from the left that this is appalling. This is absurd. There's no way that this could work. These are the exact same people, keep in mind while I go through this, that are saying safe storage laws in places like New Mexico, up in Michigan, New York, California, all the gun control havens and the would-be wannabe gun control havens, they're pushing gun safety laws or gun storage laws as a sensible alternative to common sense gun, for, gun reform and gun control. Keep that in mind as I present this. Now, everything is going to be linked in the description box below per usual. I would love to have you guys join the fray. Hit that subscribe button if you think that we earn it, because we need as many people as we can in the fray to push the Second Amendment forward together. And that is what we are about on this channel. And thank you in advance for your consideration. All right, per usual, everything is linked in the description box below. And I want to hear from you guys. Let us get into this. Okay. Some North Carolina schools now have locked up AR-15s for law enforcement and gun safety experts are appalled. Well, of course they're appalled. Because anything gun-related, any solution to meet a force-on-force -force solution, that's not acceptable. We can't have any guns. Even though bad guys have guns, you can't have guns. That only makes the situation worse. It makes no sense at all on its face. And anybody outside of the far-left gun controllers, even everyday normal Democrats or gun owners, understand that that doesn't make sense. And that's not the solution. But let me walk you through what they're doing in North Carolina because this actually sounds viable. Again, let me know what you guys think. Marshall, North Carolina. A North Carolina sheriff's office has placed locked up AR-15 rifles on a school district's six campuses as an added security measure for the coming school year in response to Evaldi, Texas situations. What's wrong with that? Like, honestly, think about that. They've got Adequate firepower on hand, locked up in a safe, safe storage laws and safe storage advocacy was all the rage six months ago, but now it's unacceptable. I'm going to get to that in one second. If you are a deputy running by or you're in a Uvalde situation or you are in a, a school resource officer, if you have access to something that can save lives, what's the problem if it's locked in a safe in a secure location? I don't truly understand, but we're going to keep getting to that because it's obviously not about safety. It's about control. It's a move the North Carolina sheriff says will help law enforcement respond to possible acts of violence at the schools. But experts told USA Today the idea was unlikely to work and is the wrong approach to curbing gun violence. Okay, so you would rather just have everyone be a sitting duck and then continue to complain about the fact that bad people with guns do bad things, but you don't want to offer a solution other than infringe upon every single person's Second Amendment right. Because for safety's purpose and safety's reasons, we need to make sure we get rid of all guns across the board, even though it's impossible and criminals will not obey that. Doesn't matter, we got to. See it for what it is, on its face. It doesn't make any sense. Madison County Sheriff Buddy Harwood has promoted the idea as the nation reels from the botched law enforcement response in Uvalde, Texas. The tragedy revealed systemic failures and poor decision making with responding police disregarding active shooter trainings, according to a, a Texas State House report. Quote, Hopefully we'll never need it, but I want my guys to be as prepared as prepared can be, Harwood said. Now, just a quick question, something that stands out. Why is it always the sheriffs that are coming out and saying and doing the things that are the right of the people, that are supporting the right of the people, protecting the people? Could it be because they're locally in the actual uh, districts that they're representing, that they are elected positions, that they are the last stronghold of constitutionality against an overreaching government? You think that has something to do with it? Let's keep going because this guy's got some good points. But here's what they actually did. Check this out. If an active shooter situation occurs, the sheriff's office has stored semi-automatic weapons in locked safes at each Madison County school. The safes also contain extra magazines, ammunition, and breaching tools, Harwood said. All things that you would need in a situation exactly like we've seen before. But this is not acceptable. you got to go out back out to your car. You need to have the right people come in. Seconds matter. Seconds are lives. And you're going to make them wait longer because you're just uncomfortable with a semi-automatic weapon being locked in a safe in a secure area. Because you're an ideologue. But that's not, that's not all we're going to hit. Let me check this out. Quote, in the event we have someone barricaded in a door, we won't have to wait on the fire department, he added. We'll have those tools to be available to breach that door if needed. 
I do not want to have to run back out to the car to grab an AR because the time, that time is lost. 100% on point. This sheriff is on it. But national gun safety experts told USA Today they disagreed with the idea. Well, of course they did. Because a gun can never be the solution. Guns are only negative, and it's not the people using them. It's only the guns, the object. Because even in the face of a common sense solution like this one, which abides by all the gun safety rules, meets even them on their gun safety storage requirements, it's still not good enough. Let's keep going. Allison Anderman, senior counsel and director of local policy at the Giffords Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence, Gun Control Group, said the response to the country's unique epidemic of gun violence is horrific. You're meeting force on force. Why is that horrific? Quote, where there are more guns, there is more gun violence, Anderman said. So, uh, it's good. I thought if we had them safely stored and we had gun laws that were, re that were legislating safely storage them and penalties for anything that was underused, like things like New Mexico's laws, all those different things, I thought that was the solution to common sense the balance between gun legislation and gun control and gun rights. Is it not? Because this is exactly what they've suggested, but they're still not happy. Let's keep going. It's incredibly important to keep under to keep pointing out their inconsistencies because they're inconsistent across the board. Let's get in. Quote, I hate that we have come to a place in our nation where I've got to put a safe in our schools and lock that safe up for my deputies to be able to, to acquire an AR-15, said Harwood. That's the sheriff. He added that the school resource officers have trained with instructors from Asheville Buncombe Technical Community College. So even the school resource officers are being protected. They are hardening the schools and protecting these kids. That's what we need to do. And this is actually a pretty good solution. Listen to the rest of the details. Quote, We can shut it off and say it won't happen in Madison County, but we never know, Harwood said. Quote, I want the parents of Madison County to know we're going to take every measure necessary to ensure our kids are safe in this school system. What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. The only reason that you would resist this is if you are an ideologue and anything with a gun has to be resisted. Because the gun cannot be the solution because it undermines your entire underpinning of all of your gun control policy. That's why they're resisting this. And it's not just the gun. Listen to what else they're doing. Adding the semi-automatic weapons is just one part of the Madison County School's enhanced security measures. Assigning student resource officers, social workers, and counselors to each school. Adding a panic button system to every building and having a school district safety liaison are among Madison County's other safety initiatives, according to Superintendent Will Hoffman. These people are taking this seriously. The solution is not just to have a gun in a safe. They're also putting in SROs, safety liaisons, counselors, guidance counselors, and what was that other one? Social workers. All of those things are represented and rep recommended by the gun control advocates, but they're not happy with those. This is horrific. That's what they said. It's all because they are, they're ideologues and they cannot accept the fact that just maybe, just maybe, the only way to respond to force is with other force. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this plan. Let me know what you think overall, and I will see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.